Okay, we're going to let two pictures speak for themselves here. And in this first photo, the racer in red, we wanted to show you uh, kind of three different alignments or different joints that are being used, the ankle, the knee, and the hip. And if you notice by this yellow line here, you can kind of see where the ankle is, the knee, and the hip, and the shoulders are in a straight line. In other words, the shoulders are inside without any curvature or angulation of the skier. Now let's take a look at a second skier and you can start to see the differences here. The second skier coming into frame. The pole, the gate I should say, is in the same spot but the angulation is a little different. You can see the old yellow line of the previous skier's alignment whereas the hip in this second skier is much more inside and the angulation of their shoulders, hip, knee, and ankle seems to be more of an ankle from here down to here. So the straight yellow line is from the previous skier and the new yellow line you can see is a little more curved. The result by creating this angulation gives you better grip on the outside ski. You can see the skis, the, the snow flying on this outside ski that's probably a little bent under the snow here. Whereas if the angulation is less, as in the previous skier, you can see not much snow flying off that outside ski here because the angulation isn't there and therefore the balance isn't on the outside foot getting a grip. Anyway, just wanted to compare those two. So you can see the two here, just to show you one alignment compared to the next.